Epitaph is in my opinion a perfect way to design a top tier weapon that has insane potential but it also has drawbacks to it. Let's get into it. Weapon is a self primer, meaning it has a fire mode that does a lot of status. Quickshot has area of effect explosion in which it guarantees a cold status and has high status chance to follow. So innate blast damage and whatever you build it for are very likely to proc too. Direct hits with this weapon do force an impact proc no matter how much you charge it. So use of hemorrhage is highly recommended. Full charge has no area of effect damage, but it's a projectile with very high critical chance, very high damage potential, and as we just mentioned, an impact proc. So it's an all-around weapon, it has a very solid crowd control effect with force call status, it has priming, it has damage. Also, it being a charged weapon, it inherently has a low fire rate, which while being a drawback on one end, on the other end, it makes use of doubled chance to make use of hemorrhage. Things I don't think are disputable in the build are critical chance, critical damage, multi-shot, viral and hemorrhage. What to use for critical chance is on you, but for me it's Prime Pistol Gambit, because it pushes full charge into viable orange crits. Galvanized critical chance is viable, but I don't use it here. For damage, you can use two things, either Hornet Strike for flat damage or Galvanized Shot for conditional but higher damage. With two force procs and bleed bearing nearly guaranteed on direct hit, Galvanized Shot already outperforms Hornet Strike. But Galvanize does not work with AoE damage, so it's a trade-off. In my opinion, area of effect is mostly for utility, so I don't build for it. It's more than good enough as is. Using Lethal Torrent still keeps this weapon under 2.5 fire rate, so that's good for bleed procs. With this low of a disposition, Rivens are a marginal upgrade or regular mod, and only way to make use of them is to roll either Toxin or Cold, and two decent stats to follow. And even then, it's like 5% upgrade over regular 6060 elemental mods you'd use in this slot. I'd like to get both Toxin and Cold on a Riven so I can slap that Prime Heat in there. One day I'll get there. Maybe a Prime Heat would be a viable replacement for Lethal Torrent. Might try that at some point. Only thing that's awkward about this weapon is its position on a wolf frame, as some armor pieces just prevent you from seeing what you're aiming at. But on the other hand, with certain wolf frames, it looks bloody awesome. If you got some spikes going on the skin, maybe some spiky armor set on shoulders, like Rivelite stuff, or this Necros Deluxe you see. It basically looks like it was already there. By the way, weapon has a kick to it and it has a great ammo economy, so use of recoil mod in Exile slot is a pretty neat one. Slow fire rate definitely makes it wonky when you want to deal with the crowd of enemies. Sure that force cold gives you time and space to do it, but there's definitely better weapons to do that mow down more efficiently. That's why I kinda look at Epitaph as a secondary bow, it's really good against single high HP targets. It has a very solid crowd control effect with force call status, so it's a weapon that will help you a lot if you have it in your loadout. So if you were on the verge of playing Railjack, this should be more than enough of a reason to do so, as it's currently one of the best secondary weapons in the game, as well as one of the more flexible weapons. And it's one of those weapons that basically don't really care what level enemy is. Crowd control works versus any level, flash works against any level, it has it all. Thank you for watching, subscribe to help me grow this place and I'll see you in the next one.